The episode begins with Ben, Gwen, and Kevin are waiting for a book signing when young movie actress Jennifer Nocturne comes to sign her books. She is taken captive by a group of thieves equipped with lethal laser weapons, and after murdering two of her bodyguards, they demand $10 million in one hour or she would die. Everything seems to be going wrong until Ben turns into Spider Monkey and tackles the villains. Captain Nenesis, Ben's favorite hero, appears and knocks one of them out as he attempts to flee. Jennifer offers Ben a kiss when Spider Monkey reverts back to Ben, making Nemesis envious. Ben arrives home to discover the story on every news station, as well as Gwen, Kevin, and much to Ben's astonishment, Julie, who is envious of Jennifer Nocturne kissing him. Ben tells her that it is for their jobs, and Julie claims that there is nothing going on between him and Jennifer, but she is using Ben to get more notoriety. To Julie's disappointment, Jennifer appears in a golden helicopter to transport Ben to Captain Nemesis's celebration. Jennifer introduces Ben to Nemesis at the party, who attempts to be pleasant, but is clearly envious of Ben and unhappy when everyone pays more attention to him. Nemesis even misspells Ben's name, referring to him as Tim Bennison. Meanwhile, Gwen and Kevin investigate the laser weapons used by the criminals. After the party, Nemesis reveals that the hostage crisis was a hoax to make him a larger celebrity, and he wants to be bigger than Ben. He has his assistant Simons solicit the assistance of Will Harang, who sees Nemesis as a great American idol, an attitude that is often expressed throughout the episode. To film some unique video of him being a larger hero than Ben, believing that being a hero is all about fame, a swarm of battle robots led by Computron appears a short time later and attempts to take over the Earth giving Nemesis the chance to show he's a greater hero than Ben. Will Harang and Nemesis come, the former to fight and the latter to shoot, but Harang is distracted by another news team filming his exclusive footage. Ben appears as Jetre, thwarting Harang's plot, but when that fails, he turns into Armadrillo and kills the majority of the robots. Nemesis conceals his envy and dares Ben to a friendly competition to discover who is the greater hero. Gwen informs Ben that Nocturne's kidnappers' weapons were manufactured by one of Nemesis' firms, before Julie cautions Ben that the contest might be a ruse. Ben chooses to go nonetheless. Ben changes into Humongousaur during the combat, which is covered by Nocturne for the Will Harang Nation, and easily defeats Nemesis in train tossing. When Ben tries to morph into Jitre, he instead turns into Rap, and Nemesis wins the speed contest. A tug of war is staged over a mud pit as a tiebreaker, and Ben morphs into four arms and wins. Nemesis is humiliated live on national television and plans vengeance on Ben. Because of his jealousy of Ben, Nemesis has his techs remove all of the safeties on his suit, enabling him to unleash more power than ever before, which would nearly kill him. When Simons complains to the removal of his suit's protections, Captain Nemesis orders Simons to depart. He then kidnaps Julie, who is shown venting her rage at Jennifer on the tennis courts. Jennifer's chopper is subsequently intercepted and taken by Nemesis. When Ben dials Julie's number, Nemesis answers and urges him to come and get me if he wants to see her again. Ben turns into Humongousaur in his lair, then into Ultimate Humongousaur, keeping Nemesis at distance and fighting him furiously. He then discloses that he has both Julie and Nocturne seized and that Ben can only rescue one of them. Both begin to plummet as Nemesis cuts the ropes. Ultimate Humongousaur evolves into Goop and captures Julie, while Gwen and Kevin save Nocturne. They take cover behind Gwen's barrier as Nemesis' energy blasts get more powerful. Nemesis ultimately cracks and informs them that he has no idea why he protected individuals like Ben in the first place and chooses to change his name to Overlord before attempting to murder Goop, who attempts to transform into Big Chill, but instead transforms into Water Hazard. Water Hazard then soaks Overlord in cold water before absorbing all of the moisture in the air, drying it up and making it brittle enough to tear off by viciously beating him up. Ben chastises Overlord for losing sight of what it takes to be a hero when Water Hazard changes back into normal. The episode ends with Harang declaring that another life has been destroyed by the menace that is Ben Tennyson, and that Overlord slash Nemesis was a decent person forced to do bad things in order to bring down Ben. The police come and capture Overlord.